Okay, so one of the best ways to practice these principles of graphic design is to look at designed objects in the world, um, just as you're walking around um, or looking online, and then going through the checklist um, for contrast, repetition, alignment, and proximity to see how well those designed objects um, fit those criteria and follow those principles. Um, if we weren't all quarantined and social isolating right now, I would um, have taken a picture of just some random poster in the GSU library um, because there are a host of good and bad examples all over the place. Um, but because I haven't left my house since March, really, um, I don't have any GSU-related examples, but I have been collecting lots of examples over time that I've used in other classes. So what we're going to do right now is look at um, a flyer that I found in the BYU library a couple years ago and critique it and then try to redesign it um, and make it better. Um, so let's look at this um, flyer here. So if you look, this is kind of a typical flyer that you would see um, just in a public library, in a university library, something um, where people can put up whatever posters and flyers they want to do. And this is a very typical thing. Um, it was most likely made in Word, um, where you can tell because it just has kind of the basic um, Times New Roman here for the, the fonts, and it probably is using Arial for its sans serif fonts here. Um, it's not very exciting. It's not very catchy. Um, hopefully, kind of at a, at, a, at a basic level, when you see this, you think a professional designer did not do that, which was probably the case. It may have been some intern or um, some person that's been working in the office for years. Um, so what we can do is rather than just saying this looks bad or this looks not great, and we can go through the checklist for contrast, repetition, alignment, and proximity and figure out what exactly is going on um, with the graphic and why, why it's not working. So first we can start with contrast. And so we can look at typographic contrast and color contrast and alignment contrast and other things like that. Um, so what we can do is kind of draw on the screen here a little bit. Um, and show you. So um, there is some contrast here. There's a sans serif font right here, um, probably Arial. And then they use a serif font here for the social media names, um, which is probably just Times New Roman bolded. And then they have the social media account names here that's Times New Roman not bolded. And so that difference here between bold and not bold isn't very strong. Um, there's not a lot of contrast there. There is stronger contrast um, if you look here, this is kind of a bolder, larger text versus um, this text down here, which is smaller um, and lighter. It's not that they used kind of a lighter font. It just happens to be kind of thin when it's small. And um, when you make it bold and, uh, and big, it looks like it's a lot thicker. And so um, there is some contrast there, but not, not a lot. It's kind of not a very, uh, it's kind of a wimpy contrast, we could say. Um, if we look at the colors on here, there's only kind of two main colors. There's the black for the text, um, and then they use blue as kind of the, the accent color um, that they use for the hashtag here and they use for the title of the, of the organization. I'm guessing they took that blue from the logo here um, for Safe Kids Utah County, and they're trying to repeat that, so that's a good attempt at repetition, so that's good. Um, but it's it's not a very strong color, especially when it's connected with the, the black here. That's not a very strong contrast between this, this dark blue and the black. And so, again, there's kind of a, a wimpy level of contrast here. Um, so that's, that's the contrast world here. If we look at repetition, um, they do, as we just noted, um, they do try to repeat the same blue in the Safe Kids logo with this blue. Um, I don't think they found an exact match. If we zoom in, um, we'll see that it's not actually exactly the same shade of blue. This is a lighter blue, that's a darker blue. Um, but they, they tried, so good effort there. Um, other repetition, they used the same color here as kind of the accent color. Um, where it gets kind of confusing here is they also use a, two other blues. They use a blue for Facebook and a blue for Twitter. I'm assuming they tried to match kind of the darker blue of the Facebook logo with, and the lighter blue of the Twitter logo, um, which is good for, for trying to match the brand. You can tell because the Instagram here is pink, which is kind of the Instagram pink. 
Um, the issue with that, though, is you suddenly have four different blues on the page here. You have the kids, you have the title and the hashtag, you have Facebook blue, and you have Twitter blue. And so it's not very, it doesn't follow repetition very well. It doesn't repeat the same blue throughout. And so um, we should do something to make it so that this is um, um, either the same blue or maybe not use the, the Facebook blue and the Twitter blue and then make this more accurate of a match. Um, so we have contrast, we have repetition, alignment. Um, one thing we can do to check alignment is to draw lines on the page to see how things line up. So we have one line here on the edge where the edge of the Utah County logo here is aligned with these QR codes. So that's some good alignment. Um, we can draw a similar line here. So we have Safe Kids Utah County, but it's not aligned with this text here. Um, it happens to be kind of aligned with Facebook, but that's not because of anything that they did on purpose. Um, instead, these social media names are aligned to the right following this line, and then the accounts are also lined up. So we have multiple alignments here. Um, we can also see that this block here in the middle is centered, except if you notice very carefully here, um, if we look at the centered section up at the top, um, they wanted to get this, this section here centered, but they ran into an issue um, trying to get this connect with lined up with the centered block here because there's not enough room for it between these two logos. And so if you notice, um, there's some space here and it's actually wider than the space that's over here. And so it, it might be centered with the safe kids, this connect with um, unit here, but it, it might not be. But then it feels kind of off because it's not aligned right in the middle of those two logos. And so you have multiple center alignments in the end, which is not great for consistency. Um, so that's the, the alignment side. If we also look at horizontal alignments, um, the bottoms of these two logos don't really line up, and then the bottom of the connect with thing doesn't line up with either of them, so you have three different uh, horizontal alignments there. Um, the bottom of these QR codes um, aren't really aligned with anything. The, the text here is aligned with the center of the QR codes, which is what they were going for, but that's not a very strong alignment. Centering is better when it's all the way to the top, or alignment is better when it's all the way to the top, or all the way to the bottom, or all the way to the left, or all the way to the right. Um, it's a stronger alignment. So um, so we have contrast, repetition, alignment, and then we can check proximity. Um, this is fairly good. We have um, kind of the main title that they care about, the title of the organization. You have the social media networks down below. It's, they're not mixed up with each other. Um, the one issue with proximity deals kind of with the main message that's being communicated with this poster. Um, the title of the organization is huge, and it does have the social media accounts, but then the call to action saying, follow us on social media and learn these child safety tips, that's the smallest thing on the page. And so maybe that should be a lot bigger um, and get more emphasis and have that be contrasted more so that we can actually see what the call to action is. Um, so that's kind of the critique that we have of this poster here, um, using contrast, repetition, alignment, and proximity.